So I have a brochure here. So let's say I want to uh, print this out. In order to print, print this out, you can simply go into file and go to print. And here you can see that there's a print preview. So right now, all of the four pages will be printed. And over here, you can navigate the pages from the bottom. So if you were to click on right, you can see the next seat, next seat, and so forth, just like this. So you can just go over here. You can also, let's say for example, see the fourth page right here. So you can see that this is the fourth page and this is actually being shown right here. So you can actually just uh, drag it down so you can show and hide page numbers from right here. Let me just bring that down. Don't need to actually see it. And here you can zoom in the publication just like this. So you can actually zoom in over here by dragging on the slider and you can see that this is where all the things are. So you can navigate around to see how it looks while it prints just like this. Over here on the left side, there are printing options. So right now there's number of copies that is to be printed and that's one. If you were to press two, then two copies of the four pages, that is eight pages will be printed out. And you can see that this actually reflects over here, just like this. You drag it down and that's down to four pages, just like this. You have an option to choose uh, to print all of the pages right here, or you can do a custom page print as well. Right now it's set to one to four. You can simply do one to three. So it only pages three pages at a time, just like that. So it only uh, will print three pages now instead of one. If you want to uh, uh, print individual pages, for example, first page and fourth page, then you can simply uh, add in a comma and press fourth page. So right now it has the first page and the last page over here. As you can see right here it does not have the other pages right here you if you have a double-sided printer yeah you can also go for um, like uh, go for multiple sided manual two sided print as well from over here there's also one page per sheet or tiled uh, printing uh, setup as you can see so if, uh, if let's say the content is not uh, Fit, uh, fitted in one page, it'll continue out on the other page just like this. So that's the dial page if you want to do that. There's multiple copies per sheet as well. So if you want two copies of the paper per sheet, that can be done as well as you can see right there. So you can also have three copies or four copies respectively, just like that. So there are four uh, pages of copies for each sheet just like that. There's also multiple pages per sheet just like this. So there's two pages right here. If you're printing on a last paper, that's like a booklet, like a side fold. There are other options to print in different ways, so trifold and so forth, as you can see right there. So it, you also need to have a rel relative printer to print these kind of documents just like that. Over here, you, can, you have an option either to print it in portrait or landscape right here. The portrait is the straightforward printing uh, option. Uh, where it's longer uh, and there's other option which is the landscape option right here you can either print one-sided or two-sided as we discussed before and you have an option whether to choose it to print it in color that is rzv or you can print it in grayscale that is black and white so these are the printing options and once uh, you're satisfied with the printing option that you have so let's just go to portrait right here and just gonna go into uh, this side right here. Let me just go to print all pages. So it goes back to that pages right here. And I wanna change the paper size as well. So this is the paper size. I'm gonna print it in A4, for example. Then you have just have A4 printing paper. So here you can choose the printer. Finally, after setting up all those settings, choose the printer that you wish to print with and hit print and the piece will be printed just like that. So that is how you can use the printing settings inside of Microsoft Publisher. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.